X-rays of the boy's mouth revealed a sac in his lower jaw that was filled with abnormal teeth, as discovered by physicians after doing X-rays. Doctors recently extracted more than 500 teeth from a young boy's mouth after he began to complain of jaw pain and swelling in his mouth. The seven-year-old child has gained 21 teeth since his surgery last month, down from an astounding 526, according to CNN. Many of the missing teeth were located inside a sac implanted in his lower jaw, which was removed during the procedure. Following x-rays and scans, Dr. Prathiba Ramani, the head of oral and maxofacial pathology at Safitha Dental College and Hospital in India, said to the outlet that his team discovered the boy's jaw sac packed with odd teeth after learning about it via the media. It was subsequently determined that the youngster had hundreds of teeth inside his mouth after a lengthy investigation by Romani's team revealed that two surgeons were able to effectively remove the sac from his jaw. A total of 526 teeth were used, with sizes ranging from 0.1 millimeters to 15 millimeters. According to Romani, the process took nearly five hours to finish even the tiniest fragment, which contained the crown, root, and enamel layer that indicated it was a tooth. The youngster was first admitted to the Chennai Hospital in southern India in July, and he has been there ever since. In 2011, the boy complained of swelling and soreness near his molars and lower right jaw, according to CNN. He was also experiencing headaches. Doctors then took x-rays and scans of his mouth, which helped them conclude that surgery would be required to remove the teeth, especially because it was impossible to know exactly how many teeth were buried in the jaw sac during the initial examination. The procedure, according to Dr. P. Sinlathian, a surgeon who was one of the physicians who performed it, was not as invasive as one might expect, given the gravity of the situation. We drilled into the jaw from the top while under general anesthesia, the doctor said. He's presently the head of the hospital's oral and maxofacial surgical department. He explained to the source, we were able to avoid breaking the bone on the sides, which eliminated the need for major repair. The sack was removed from the body. The best way to think about it is a kind of balloon with small bits in it, he said. According to Romani, the small kid was released from the hospital after only three days with the assumption that he would make a complete recovery. According to CNN, doctors believed the youngster was suffering from a disorder known as compound composite odontoma, which is a very rare ailment. According to the Journal of Oral and Maxofacial Pathology, a composite odontoma occurs when a benign tumor forms in the patient's mouth and subsequently more teeth grow within the tumor. Romani told CNN that the disease could have been caused by a genetic mutation or by environmental factors such as radiation, but that the specific course is still unknown at this time. They also revealed that they had discovered swelling in the boy's jaw when he was three years old, which indicated that he had most likely been suffering from the ailment since birth. But they claimed that despite their efforts, they were unable to assist their kid since he was too young to sit still or enable doctors to examine his lips. In an effort to raise awareness about dental concerns, the small boy's medical team is now publicizing his tale to encourage others to get immediate treatment for any tooth issues that may arise, particularly in low-income communities. In the past, things like a shortage of dentists, a lack of education, poverty, and other factors meant that there was less awareness, said Lathian noted to CNN. These issues have not been resolved. You can see that people in urban areas are more conscious, but people in rural areas are less educated and less able to afford proper oral health, he said. The hospital also expressed gratitude to the boys' doctors for their handling of the situation. This is the first documented occurrence in the history of the world in which such a large number of minute teeth were discovered in a single individual, the hospital noted in a statement posted on their website. The following was stated in the statement. Savitha Dental College and Hospital received a complaint of swelling in the jaw from the parents of a seven-year-old kid who was referred to them. He'd been taken to a local hospital in Chennai when he was three years old because his parents had observed a little swelling on the right lower jaw. However, because he was so young, he refused to cooperate with any investigative tests that were performed on him. Thus, the enlargement went unnoticed for a period of four years. He was brought to our facility when he was seven years old because the swelling was steadily growing in size. The parents were quite concerned because they believed it was possible that the child had jaw cancer. Initial examination by the surgeons indicated a big lesion with many hard structures at a single place within the lower jaw, which was confirmed by further examination. During the surgery, the operating surgeon detected a well-defined bag-like tumor 
which was completely removed by the surgical team. The specimen was approximately 200 grams in weight. The specimen was radiographed, and the results revealed a number of small radiopaque structures. When the bag was subjected to further examination by the oral pathologist, they discovered 526 tooth-like structures, much to their amazement. For example, according to the pathologist's own words, it looked like pearls in an oyster. In order to remove all of the minute teeth from the opened bag-like specimen, it took five hours of meticulous searching and extraction. A group of postdoctorate students described their collection of small teeth as a Pandora box of miniature teeth. Various tooth sizes ranged from 1 mm to 15 mm in length, and each looked like a real tooth complete with a crown covered in enamel and a root-like structure underneath. This is the first reported occurrence in the history of the globe in which such a large number of minute teeth were discovered in a single individual. The phrase compound odontome refers to this extremely unusual condition. A special mention should be made of the expertise and competence demonstrated by the team of oral surgeons and oral pathologists at the Savitha Dental College and Hospital in dealing with such a rare case. The surgeon's decision to remove the lesion at its entirety rather than examining it on the operating table as if it were a bag of worms prevented a significant disaster and saved the patient from being under general anesthesia for a longer period of time and the resulting problems. Savitha has always been the gold standard of excellence, adhering to all healthcare regulations and being easily accessible to patients from all socioeconomic backgrounds. When it came to dealing with such a unique situation, the team of oral surgeons and oral pathologists at Savitha Dental College and Hospital were praised for their expertise and competence. What are odontomas and how do they affect you? First and foremost, as explained in an article published in the Journal of Oral and Maxofacial Radiology, odontomas are non-cancerous oral tumors. They're extremely rare and they do not spread or cause additional damage. It's believed that the enamel, dentin, cementum, and pulp tissues that surround and support teeth are being replicated by these aberrant growths in the mouth. The West Indian Medical Journal, WIMJ, published an article on odontomas, which are tumors that grow slowly and can explode into the mouth cavity in some situations. According to the WIMJ article, odontomas are the most prevalent type of odontogenic tumor found in humans. Even though they are more likely to manifest themselves between the ages of 14 and 18 years, they can manifest themselves at any age. Obstructive dental lesions are slightly more common in women than men, and they mainly affect the upper jaw. The exact ideology in odontomas is unknown, However, they have been linked to trauma, infection, and inflammatory processes affecting the jaws during childhood, according to some research findings. People who have particular hereditary disorders, such as Gardner syndrome and Herman syndrome, may also be more susceptible to odontomas than the general population. In around 80% of cases, the tooth linked with the odontoma is impacted, which means that it's not emerged from the gums yet. Odontomas that are complex versus those are compound. According to the article in WIMJ, a compound odontoma has a tooth-like structure which is structured in a regular fashion compared to a normal tooth, but a complex odontoma has a mixed structure of disorderly tissue mass similar to a normal tooth. Compound odontomas are twice as prevalent as complex odontomas, and they often appear on a dental x-ray as a cluster of little teeth. Compound odontomas are more difficult to diagnose than complex odontomas, According to a paper published in the Journal of Clinical and Diagnostic Research, there's also been instances in which patients have had several compound odontomas. Dentists can determine whether or not a patient has an odontoma by looking at x-rays of their jaw. Despite the fact that these tumors are benign, they can be treated conservatively with minimal surgery if necessary, according to the WIMJ article. Tumors that have been surgically removed are unlikely to reappear once they've been removed. According to the findings of a study published in the National Journal of Integrated Research in Medicine, if a patient has no symptoms and the tumor is not preventing the teeth from emerging into the proper position, simply monitoring the odontoma may be an appropriate treatment choice. Your dentist, working in collaboration with a specialist or an oral maxillofacial surgeon, will advise you on your treatment options and ensure that you're in good hands throughout the process. The presence of odontomas can be detected on normal x-rays at your dentist's office but remember that a tumor does not always indicate the presence of cancer. The treatment is not always necessary. 
Visiting your dentist on a regular basis will guarantee that not only are your teeth and gums examined, but your head and neck are as well. Because of this, regular dental examinations and dental x-rays are essential for maintaining good oral and general. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.